What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So today we're going over another infected, infested pet. They're basically zombies. Don't at me, alright? They're zombie dogs and zombie cats. Or foxes, whatever you want to nitpick today. Alright, before we get into it, check out the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash gaz underscore ttv for streams. There will be a stream later today. Uh, yeah. Warframe stream, some other games possibly as well. Let's get into it. We're getting over the Vizier Predacite. And like I said, it's a zombie dog. That's the lore explanation. It's a zombie dog, guys. Alright? It is literally just a Cooper out like a unicorn horn on its head. And it's a little bit annoying to catch. So, yeah, it's got two different abilities. And unlike the infested zombie uh, foxes, they do not come back to life when they die. You have to revive them yourself. Alright, so you've got Acidic Spittle, which will uh, fire off a blob of corrosion every uh, five seconds and it will blind the enemy for 12 seconds and deal corrosive damage that is affected by status chance so if you have the mecha overdrive mod on your on your uh, your dog it will actually do increase critical uh, increase status chance and be able to proc multiple corrosive procs at once that also means that you can mod your dog for viral or heat and it will also proc viral or heat with this ability if you have enough status chance so it's pretty good this ability this ability over here, Eotric Mycelium, is going to provide you healing if you can see the near, nearly invisible trail that this dog will leave on the ground. Uh, it will do about 300 healing every over 5 seconds, and it will release a trail every 8 seconds. Alright, so let's spawn the enemies in so we can show how this works. This comes from Dimos, of course. Pause them. Now, I have modded the dog for Viral. Uh, once I show that, I don't really think the healing ability is very good. We'll take it off and we'll do viral and heat. As you can see right there, one attack, it did three viral procs. Not too bad. Although we are using a dog stat stick with the Kuva uh, comb with a status chance ribbon. So it does not normally do this many procs. And this is also single target. So as you see, it left a near invisible trail on the ground. If you step into it, you will get healing. And that's how fast the healing is. So yeah, you can refresh the duration of the healing by walking back into the, the trail if you can find it. But good luck finding that trail. I've heard even with not just my graphic settings, they're very hard to find. Now, since we have the viral built into the uh, the dog, or rather we have the corrosive built into the dog, we can do corrosive and viral with this single target attack. Which is relatively nice in most situations. But, like I said, it, at least the cooldown, honestly, at least the cooldown is pretty low. Every five seconds it will release this. And the enemy is stunned as well. So, it, it's, dude, like... This, this is actually in the same game as the Crescent Volpa Phyla. The Crescent Volpa Phyla is complete trash, and this ability that this thing's using is probably what the Crescent Volpa Phyla should be using on its charge attacks as well. So let's take off the healing ability. We'll take off Prime Pack Leader just to show how this would work. So you can actually do Viral and Heat as well. So we got Viral Heat, and then it will have Innate Corrosive on the, the Spit attack. Let's try this out again. And I'll take, I'll take off the Comb stat stick afterwards just so we can... Show how it is without any stat stick shenanigans. It will be much less powerful. So we've got Viral and Heat from one attack with the dog. Pretty good. And it technically can proc Viral, Heat, and uh, Corrosive if you got really lucky and didn't double stack your procs. There's Viral and Corrosive. So yeah, um, let's take off the stat stick. Like I said, the Mecha Overdrive mod will uh, take your modded status chance of your primary into account when applying to those companion abilities. So we have the Kuva Cone, which is the highest status chance primary with all these status chance mods. Let's take that off. Now, we had like about 295% status chance on the dog. Now we've got 14. So this is how it's actually going to work. Didn't I make it look pretty good there? <laughs> Not really. It's still single target. But here, here's how it will be without a stat stick. It didn't even proc a single thing. Let's try that again. Not a single thing. <laughs> so yeah, here's my rec here's my suggestion to De. Hey, don't forget that these companions exist. the 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 Panzer Volpophila is nice. Everything else is bad. So please, with that Dimos Arcana update, make sure you buff not just this thing, the Crescent Volpophila. The other, buff all the Predacites, this one included, uh, the, the Slybulpophyla, it's, it's not 
phenomenal. It definitely could use some work as well. And it still hasn't procced a single status, guys. Okay? So I would not recommend this one, except for Mastery. If you want to use a dog stat stick, be my guest. But, um, yeah, they really did not do the next strap. They did not QA test these pets at all. The, the, I think the, the Panzer Volpa Phyla is just good by coincidence. Like, it accidentally was good. Because as you saw right there, it did not proc a single status. And look what we've got. We've got three status chance mods on our dog. And Mecha Overdrive technically wasn't really doing anything there because we took our primary off. But we should not have to be running four mod slots. We should not have to be running a stat stick primary to... Uh, let's just use like a normal primary. What's, like, what's a primary like people just use a lot? Let's see. We got... Um, Corinth Prime. There you go. That's got 9% status chance per projectile. You know, a pretty standard... Weapon right here. Not built fully for status. It's got 14% status chance per projectile. What's the status chance of the dog with this? 22. See what I mean? Like, if you don't, like, completely, like, min-max stat stick the dog, you ain't gonna see any status procs, guys. So, and that's with three status chance mods on the dog, too. Complete joke, if you ask me. And, yeah. Did we get any procs? We still didn't get any procs. Okay? I rest my case. Complete trash. Uh... DE, with that new Archon update, I know you didn't put uh, dog buffs in the uh, the uh, introduction patch notes that you showed to us. You said you're going to make new Necromax, make make new this, make new that. These have ne these are neglected, and this is a big part of the update, in my opinion. You look at Necromax, they're like not super important, at least currently. And like the, the, the thing that sh should have been a step forward is these new companions. We've got the, the Vulpophilas and the Predacites. And the Volpa Phylas, uh, having, like, revive mechanics and being technically immortal is a really nice, like, step forward, I'd say. But then you look at the Predacites, and the Predacites are stuck in 2016 still. So, um, yeah, that could definitely use some work. Um, of course, you have plenty of Warframe partners you could talk to um, if you actually care about their opinions or what they, their ideas they have for the game. I know not, every, not their opinions aren't the only ones that matter at all, but... Um, you know, maybe, maybe a lot of them do play the game pretty regularly, and they can help you out. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys next time. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'd say don't go for this one. Just get it for Mastery Fodder. Um, potentially hold on to it in case they do end up buffing all the companions that are quite blatantly not very good. Uh, with the uh, Ar Dimos Arcana update, most likely coming out in like a month, I'm going to guess. Uh, I mean, this one's the Visor Predacite uh, with the Elasmun Antigen and the Chitin Mutagen. And if you don't use a stat stick, it sucks. And it still sucks, even with a stat stick, to be completely honest. So, peace out, guys.